the contestants receiving more than 50% of the vote won. An estimated 10% of viewers voted, and 30% of the votes were cast on social media. So let's pause here and start organizing. We have votes through social media, texting, and then we have votes for contestant one and contestant two. So they just told us that 30% of our total votes went through social media, which means 70% went through text messages. And next they tell us that contestant two earned 70% of the social media votes. So we can kind of branch this off into, well, if they got 70%, that means contestant one got 30%, so one and two. And then for the text messages, let's see. They tell us that contestant two earned 40% of the text message votes. So again, we can branch this out into 40, and that would be the remaining 60 going to contestant one, because contestant two got 40%. Now to do our math here, so over to the right, we're gonna try to start to organize this. So for contestant one, they got 30% of the 30% of social media vote. So that's gonna get us 9%. They also got 30% or oops, they got 60% of the 70% of the text message votes. So that gets us 42%. So we can already see who the winner is. That's going to add up to 0.51. But just to make sure that our math checks out, let's make sure it works for contestant two. Contestant two got 70% of the 30. So 0 0.7 times the 0.3. That's going to get us 21%. And then finally, they got 40% of the 70% for text messages. So 40 times the 70, that gets us 0.28. And there it is, that's the 0.49. So we got our total for these two. So we have our two totals. We can see uh, contestant one's the winner. Let's check our answers. Based on this, which of the following is an accurate conclusion? In A, if all viewers had voted, contestant two would have won. Well, from our sample, it seems like contestant one is the winner, so I don't know why more people voting would make the person that lost win. For B, viewers voting by social media were more likely to be younger, didn't say anything about age. In C, if all viewers who voted had voted by social media instead of by text message, contestant two would have won. Well, that's not true because if I voted for contestant one through text message, all because I'm jumping onto social media doesn't mean I'm going to magically vote for contestant two. My vote would most likely, we would assume, would stay the same. So I don't think that's true either. And in D, viewers voting by social media were more likely to prefer contestant two than were viewers voting by text message. That is actually true. 